welcome back to another episode of our franchise zoo. My name is Savannah. If you're new here, this is our new project that we started. Again, it's a franchise zoo in a tropical biome. So far, we only have the two species of tortoises and our flamingos. Um, I'm pretty excited about today's episode because I did lots of planning. I let it run. I collected us a lot of money down here. Um, $66,000 is what we have to play with. I also made a to-do list based on your wonderful comments and wonderful feedback, as well as what I have done um, while letting the, uh, the game run. So first is what I did is I, actually I'm gonna go ahead and pause it so we can save the weather here. It's nice and sunny. So I wanna get into a time lapse pretty much right away. So I wanna make sure it's nice and um, sunny and clear for that. Um, I did the railing here and incorporated the ground that kind of merges the path with the enclosure here. You can see I did that on both sides. What I'm thinking is that uh, these corners don't match very nicely. So I'm thinking of doing the shade structure up from these corners for the guests and coming out. Um, you know, something like out like this so that they have something to view the tortoises underneath and that's a good way to hide those little corners. I want to do new structures for the tortoises because I'm not super happy with these ones. I did some research, so I um, had the mechanics work on actually the South American pack because I want to use a lot of the thatched roofing and the ropes and things like that. So they got started on that already. I also want to get started on the, um, or I not get started on, but finish the flamingo habitat. Um, I have an idea. I want to, one, cut the path through here to kind of cut this empty space because this enclosure is rather big, but I also want to make the um, uh, barrier kind of come in a little bit so that they are not able to get up here, put some rocks and some foliage and stuff like that. And then the foliage backdrop that I'm talking about, um, that I talked about last time, I want to get started on that. So, um, let's see. I did the railing around the tortoises. I did the research. Oh, I did some flamingo enrichment research. You'll notice I put down their little foraging pool here. We need to incorporate that into the enclosure a bit better. Um, and then I also hired another keeper and trained a few of the staff members just to kind of keep that going. Um, so let's go ahead and without, uh, any further of my chitter chatter, let's go ahead and get started with the speed build right away. And I will see you, uh, in just a minute.
As you can see, we made lots of progress there on our flamingo habitat. We have a nice covered area. If you come on down here, um, you can see it's the start of the structure. Um, I want to add a little bit more down here as far as seating and some custom signage, cover this up a bit. Um, but you can see kind of the basic idea I'm kind of going for over there with how tropical it is. Um, I'm really happy with how this wall came out. I actually did this for another project that I'm working on um, that I haven't shared quite yet, but very happy with those temple pieces and how they come out being recolored um, like that. So this will be a planter that will kind of run all the way up, up all the way to the top here, and then we'll branch off around here to go somewhere else. I'm actually thinking um, of adding some food right over here. Um, that way we can kind of not rely so much on these two vending machines. And then let's see, I did the shelters here and the tortoise, ha uh, I almost said tortoise habitats, the tortoise shelters as well. Now their shelter did significantly go down and I'll, here I'll press play and we can see their welfare is still good. Um, let's see, their toy enrichment could be better though. But even with my point being is even with their hard shelter being so low, um, their welfare is still at 70 or so percent. And over here for the Galapagos tortoises, still 70%. So it's still in the green. So I think I'm kind of okay making that uh, compromise um, and kind of letting the the shelter below um, because everything else is okay. So if we actually go over here and we go to, let's see, giant tortoise, and it should be the same for the Galapagos giant tortoise, but I'll check that one too. And let's see if we go to here and we go and see what kind of toys. Um, are they bored? So they have that, do they? These guys have the sprinkler. Okay, so that's what we did. So if I take this and I put that over there and then we take this ball yeah, small colorful ball and put that over there. 
Does that help you guys at all? Perfect. And then did they have opposite feeder things? You have a fruit tower, you have a fruit tower, and you have two feeding ball. Let's see, go back to here and we'll go to food. Is there anything else? Oh, this ice cube. That's right, you guys have an ice cube and I don't think you guys do. So let's go ahead and add an ice cube for you there, perfect. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so what I wanted to do here is put down some food and kind of get started on um, what this area might look like. And that is going to involve scooting you guys back, maybe back over there for now. And then if we go to our facilities here and we go to guest facilities, we got to decide on what kind of food. I feel like doing a chief beef and just like a gulpy soda or something um, might be the way to go. And if we just kind of put them over here, I feel like those are nice and easy um, things to put down right away. And I'll go ahead and connect the path as well, just so that guests can start using it while we are um, talking about it. But I plan to kind of redo these paths so that they look much prettier than this. It's gonna look very ugly for a second here as we get dark. Perfect. Now I looked at a couple reference pictures and what I'm actually thinking, I'm kind of torn. I like the texture of the Australian wood pieces. I know we don't quite have those unlocked just yet, um, but they're kind of too light for what I was thinking. I don't know if I necessarily want to create an entirely custom wall, um, although we could. So if we go to plank, or I might have searched painted. Whoops, painted. Do we have those yet? We do. So if I use these and make, let's see, just a very quick, very quick, um, custom wall. This actually might be how how we want to go, um, although I won't complete this in um, in the real time talking part because this is going to take uh, forever if that's the case. But something just like this. These are actually one of my favorite pieces just because they're so um, versatile. The one thing I don't like is um, the texture. Now, I, I do like it and I don't like it in some cases. So obviously, if you're building something that's meant to be made out of wood, uh, they work really well. If you're building something that you, you are thinking is not made out of wood and you're just using it for the shape and the size of the piece, they're not that great because the texture, um, even when they're painted, doesn't quite go away. Sorry, guys, I'm going to get right in here because my OCD will not let that be uh, <laughs> the gap be that skinny. Anyway, so then if we color them, I'm thinking something like something like that maybe yeah and then if we take these two pieces this is another thing um, almost always whenever I'm building something I'll take these and and differ the color just just a little bit and even just a little bit gives the idea that um, something is weathered and not super, super repetitive because I, I really honestly don't like um, the tiling effect that the game has. Yeah, so if we do this just very, very quickly for kind of a proof of concept here. And then we take this whole thing and rotate it up just like that and put that over here. We can kind of start to see maybe an outline of how this building would look. Um, yeah, I think I'm okay with that. So then if we take this and we go back into here and grab the shorter pieces, because what I will do in a time lapse to fix this um, completely is go through and kind of um, rotate these pieces around and um, flip them over on each other, use more of the smaller pieces and the bigger pieces, that kind of thing, so that these lines aren't so uh repetitive with one another sorry guys my um i've been trying to remember to play with the settings on my mouse because it doesn't sometimes it doesn't have a click in between what i'm looking for and it kind of jumps around sporadically but if we take this and kind of move this 
over and then this one here and move it over this way. See, even that gives it just a little bit more random variation and not so, so repetitive. Things like that really are gonna make your builds look more realistic and, and less kind of copy and pasted down. So I'm thinking if we continue that at least one block on either side, um, I guess what I could do um, because this is going to need kind of a backing anyway, is let's just outline it. Um, let's take a wall piece and let's just pick, oh, I'm still unpainted. That's why. Um, let's just pick a plain one for now and we can uh, kind of outline exactly what I'm thinking here as far as shape and size. Why did that go there? Um, shape and size here. So I'm wanting kind of a long and skinny building. Whoops. Long and skinny building like this and then having outdoor seating because I do want it to be um, more of a like a food court type area, not necessarily a restaurant. Um, if we're going with the fact that this is kind of a lower budget um, zoo as far as uh, uh, the style and stuff goes. They're not going to have some big fancy uh, sit down restaurant. Damaged barriers. Oh no. Go ahead. Oops. I clicked on the wrong thing. Call mechanic. And then we'll change that while we're here actually because I forgot. We'll change this to every six months or so. And that's another thing that I wanted to do that reminds me um, is uh, eventually get rid of all of this barrier. I want to make one out of these climbable pieces and that way we don't have to worry about the mechanics fixing them and stuff so you can see you know that's why i finished this all the way down here because that's just all null barrier um damage berries oh more vet, vet research great for the flamingos wonderful um yeah so anyway back to the uh cafe here um having this kind of be the you know you walk up you order your food maybe there's a pickup over here and then you go sit down so having some sort of shaded cover here shaded cover there so that people can go sit and eat um that kind of style as far as food goes um and not having it be a sit down restaurant so like i said i was looking at some reference pictures here um and the building that i'm looking at has a fairly simple roof but it actually has a pretty cool um, kind of awning in front of it that's kind of zigzagged and triangular. The only thing I don't know is what the heck I'm going to make the zigzagged pieces out of. They kind of look like, um, they kind of look like this kind of thing where they, they have the little, um, raised parts, but there's not a non gridded piece of this. So we might just have to make our own more damaged barriers. Goodness. Where are our mechanics? Go fix it. How's this one while we're over here? Oh, mechanics over there fixing something. Uh, barrier status is fine. You're 77%. So if you could fix that quicker, that would be awesome. Go away. Um, yeah, so anyway, we might have to make our own. And what I'm thinking we could do is if we took plaster and let's just do, that's way too skinny. Mm, it'd probably be more like these pieces. Yeah, cause well, that might be okay. So if we take this piece and then we take have to be something that could be painted maybe maybe these so if we duplicate here so that we're on the same plane oops sorry guys my phone is still on that's actually my uh dinner i ordered dinner for myself and it is going to be dropped off very shortly um yeah so if we do something like this and then we color these all the same. This might kind of represent, although, hmm, I guess that's fine. Although in my picture, um, the zigzags go up and down like this and the lines go with the zigzags that way, but that's fine. So if we do this and let's put this all in a group so it's easier to work with. I know we have some notifications on the side. I'll look at them in just a second. Let's get these and it's in the picture I'm looking at it's kind of green but like a really really dark green so let's see what happens if we do that and then will these colors match up nicely eh. I mean I, I 
guess it looks okay. Um, so then the idea being that if this was tilted up, oops, if this was tilted up like that, then there would be a second one that tilted up the other way. Whoops, clicking all the wrong buttons today. Tilted up the other way like this, and then it would go um, back and forth and back and forth. Let's see, let's copy that straight over like so. Perfect. And then we copy this whole thing and turn it. And then this would kind of be our little awning across the top of here, um, obviously with some supports and things like that. Now in the picture that I'm looking at, this is actually separated. It's not attached to the building. Um, so maybe we do that with smaller plaster pieces. Uh, but yeah, so I, that looks really rough right now. I know guys, um, it looks not at all like I'm envisioning it to be, but I wanted to put down the start of it and at least put down um, some food and drink shops so that people can actually go use them. Um, and while we're over here, we might as well put down some, what am I looking for? Perfect. My brain stopped working for just a second. Some trash cans because people are animals. Um, I read something somewhere that said like 10 feet is the maximum amount of, of uh, distance somebody will travel to go find something like a trash can or something like that in theme parks. I have no idea if that's accurate at all. Um, and I can't even remember where I read it, but I find that interesting. 10 feet is not that far at all. Um, people are, are either just very lazy or very inconsiderate or both, I guess. Um, anyway, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I know we didn't add another animal, um, but I really wanted to get started on some food and run some ideas past you. And I also wanted to, to give you guys the opportunity to let me know what animal you think might work best. I was toying with the idea of maybe putting an aardvark in, maybe somewhere over here since the um, tortoises are kind of African. Maybe we have this area lead over to an African section where like the bigger animals are over in the back. Um, or we could do red panda or red ref lemur, something like that, maybe off this way in a more, more tropical section of the zoo. Um, yeah, I just wanted to know what your ideas were. And I think next time um, tackling the entrance, the food court, and then the start of another enclosure in a speed build, I think is the, the plan for that. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave anything down below in the comments, any suggestions, questions, feedback, anything, all of the above. Um, and again, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.